Huh. So here's a couple right here. Here comes the judge. And here's the wife, and I guess these are their friends. So much for stand by your man. Don't do no through thick and thin. Well, he's not thin, but stand by your man. Don't don't. Wow. So he's sitting on the bench. He's the OC judge over the criminal. Looks like based on you being arrested, you might be one too. Then over here, little Mimo, married to him for 15 years, and he's 78. Ah, look at that. William Lowe. William Lowe looks like you don't reach the new low. Being on suspicion of murdering, not just murdering now, don't forget, dismembering the wife and then putting her in different suitcases. And while they're investigating, he tries to get into the back window of the apartment to get his keys. I got to get to my storage. Oh, I didn't know you had one. Now they found the saw. Dum 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 dum, which I'm glad they did. Go get him. Floating in three different suitcases. So, <clears throat> I'm going to share with you something that came to me recently. Wow, which made me think about this. I kid you not. Someone was telling me about the conversation of dealing with Senior Becky. And she said, they're like, uh, there's a 10-year difference. She's in her 80s. He's in his 90s. Who he's still here. Now, I had made a joke how my girlfriend, we were being facetious, and she's like, oh, you can tell when the marriage, she says, you can tell when the marriage goes back. When you wake up in the morning and you look over at the person and you're like, mm, he's still breathing. <laughs> I had to laugh. Sorry. That joke still kind of cracks me up. We're just being, she's just joking. She's like, you wake up and you look over and you're like, mm, he's still breathing. <laughs> so, oh my God. Yeah. When, when you start to think that that's kind of when it's going bad. Yeah. Totally get it. So anyway, speaking of me, my company, uh, this look, not these people, it's somebody else. Uh, Becky, uh, Grandma Becky, she said, mm, he ain't gonna never leave. And I'm thinking like, oh, is he going somewhere like on a trip or is he going late? Uh, she said that. She's like, she's in her 80s. She want to live by herself. But I'm like, well, she's been married to this guy for like, oh my God, over 30 years, her, her second marriage. He ain't gonna never leave. I want to be by myself. I was like, you know, I thought it was rather odd before a, a few Christmases ago when I was like, why is a 90-year-old man, why you got your husband, a 90-year-old man, you have plenty of money, why you got your man, 90 years old, on a ladder hanging Christmas lights and also taking them down? You can hire someone, you know, to do, to do that. I thought that was strange. So then hearing that, I thought, Oh, she wants him to leave. Like, you know, I don't know if it's going for him up or lower room, but you want him gone. Like, probably go. That's what it sounded like to me. He ain't going to never leave. I want to live by myself in her 80s. So what's the point? Some things you take as like, oh my, I'm like, wow. Sometimes things are not always as they seem. You wonder why some people are married <clears throat> and have two residences. We've done it over here. You want you wonder why? Some people, you know, they may have, hey, I like this property, and then this one like this property, and you you know, everybody's different. But understand this here. Some people are in these marriages, and it's not because, oh, we just had to get this, it's a deal and got money invested in it, and then one person really is in love with this property and just can't let go. I I get it. That that does happen. But no, see, some people are together. And in these marriages, it's a whole lot of give and take. 
a whole lot of give and take. But some people are together that one person is just tired of giving, another person is take, 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 or sometimes they find themselves, uh oh, getting on each other's nerves. Even old people, you think, oh, they're walking hand in hand and so in love. You don't know what that person might be thinking. Again, me, mom was like, wow, he ain't gonna never leave. I can see, oh, you mean that kind of leave? Who would have thought? I never saw it. Sh sh shocking. Maybe it's time for you to kind of maybe, you know, do something else. So sometimes in these marriages, um, you do have people who outgrow each other. Or sometimes people, when one person is, quote, the star, the superstar in the relationship, and the other person plays the role as, oh, you just stand by and support me. Sometimes people can get to a point where that's all they've done to the main breadwinner. And then that resentment can start growing. And you get older and you're like, I could have accomplished this, but I didn't. And I stayed in my marriage, what I was told to do, and I couldn't get my dream. See, I'm betting he the star right here, Chubba Check over here, which is not his name. Mm-hmm. Mr. I like me some hot links. I bet you do. You, Mr. Steakums. And she stood by, and look what's happened. A lot goes on behind closed doors that people don't know. So for to get to this point, you got, uh, what little does it end at? Hit a little one. 78, who allegedly dismembered his wife and then, look, got that chain, got that saw. Oh, oh I mean, we see it on TV in the movie, but dang, reality. Anger, hatred is there. And people are thinking it. May have verbalized and may not, but look what happened. Look what happened. This member got her floating in three different suitcases. What kind of funeral would that be popular? Can you imagine? For the family. I'm getting rid of you. Oh, I hear her packing her bags. You sure got some bags up under your eyes, buddy. Us and the saw was found in the storage. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I think what he was trying to do is get those keys and maybe get rid of the saw. Not knowing. Basically, you're just giving the police a path. 78 years old. I don't care what his lawyer says about him. You know, maybe a purple heart or something. I believe he said that. I don't care what his lawyer says about him. A lot of times, it's like a criminal going, well, it was a good person. Have you ever done this? Well, no, maybe we should uh, say this. Maybe they just haven't been caught before. You know, you can run background checks. Well, they said that's just the one that got caught. It was kind of scary as the one that hasn't been caught. 78 years old. Why not just leave? Walk away. Why not just leave? Well, a lot of times it could be assets. Oh, no. One of us is going to have to move and really can't afford it. Oh, no. May have to sell the house. May have to sell the house. Split everything down the middle. Is in California 50-50 alimony state? Let, let me know in the comments. Life change. Can't afford it. Can't afford a life change. I want everything. Oh, I'm too old to be going through this. Too old to be going through it. Hmm. Okay. So these men get angry. And for it to get to this point to shoot or dismember, you're not going to tell me somebody, this. It's, it's more than anger. Uh, I think that anger and that hatred been there. Mm -hmm. That anger and, and that hatred has been there. I, you, How do you just get mad and dismember somebody? How do you just get mad and just and bust a cap on your spouse? It, it's been there. And then you share, you're sharing a shared space too? Whoa. So you think the young fools acting up? No, it's the older ones too. What do they say? Anger is one letter away from danger. So these two women, me and Ma, right here, 
and worth worth let me mall. Basically, for this to escalate at this point, you are sleeping with the enemy. And don't even know it. Young and old. What they say? I heard a lady say, a young fool is what? The good makings for an old fool. This right here. Nobody can just walk away. And a lot of times it is, uh, sometimes it's finances. Oh, she's not getting my pension. Gosh. They live in an apartment. Th these two right here. Or a little condo, I think. The judge just couldn't walk away. And look, a million dollars, all he had to pay was a hundred thousand. Heck, that, that ain't nothing to him, I would imagine. Are you kidding? And now he's free. And the sad thing is, you will have some old desperate woman, if he ain't got somebody else, I don't know. You will have some desperate woman sitting up there, uh, uh, still dating. You will have a desperate woman still dating, thinking it won't happen to her. Well, he got hurt. He won't murder a second time. Surely he wouldn't. I'll be safe. Taking your life in your hand. So this here, a lot of times, even with older couples, uh, people are together for different reasons. And sometimes when things don't work out, they feel stuck. Again, hearing Mima, he's still here. And I was, I'm like, I'm thinking, does she mean like he's late for a trip? Oh, no. She want to live by herself. But see, he controls the money. He, that's how she got the money. She married it. St still not happy. Heck, me, Ma, I was surprised. She, conf she confided in one of her kids that um, basically, and I understand marriage is business, trust and believe. But she made it clear that basically uh, she was never in love with them. But he was nice to her and could provide. And Becky, Mama Becky was on a struggle bus. So it makes me wonder. So all this time, you've had to have some good times, but now it's getting on your nerves. I want to live by myself. Do what I want to do. He has to run the show. See, he runs the show. Well, that's, that, you, you knew that when you met him. But see, he was the come up. He has to run the show. That's how the men on his side do. They got the money, they run the show, and that's not, uh, that's not a, a big surprise. Ooh, whoop de what else is new? So this here, everybody look all smiling. Oh, like everything is okay and everybody's happy. Smile for the camera. The judge, she's deceased, and he's the one suspected of shooting her. Lil Low, Lil William Low, 78. Suspected and dismembering and put, killing and dismembering the wife and putting her body in the suitcases. She floating over here and floating over there, floating, floating, some everywhere. And then there's some purses. I'm not going to mess up my retirement. I, I mean, I wonder how to get this bad. It's been there. How did they get this bad with these two men? Oh, that anger and that hatred been there. Mm -hmm. People go through changes and cycle. The person you were 10 years ago, you maybe not that person now. Your thinking process changed. Hopefully you evolve or some people become more selfish, more mean. But somehow you got a major disconnect here and it ended in violence. Again, not only for the young, but also for me, Ma. Might want to know when to uh, know when to leave. But a lot of times, people get themselves in circumstances where they can't afford to, or they're older. Oh, I can't start over, and you already got some friction. And if you got a dusty day and a murking man, oh, somebody about to go, and more than likely it's the woman. The DV cases, it's real. Again, the young fool got the makings of an old fool. 
Sometimes these men are used to just getting their way all the time, getting their way all, all the time. And then a woman sometimes can sit back and do inventory. And she's thinking, well, I'm going to go ahead and stay. At least I got this house and I guess I got this and that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and stay. I'm just going to deal with it because they don't have any other means to support themselves economically. He controls the purse strings. And sometimes he can't afford the divorce. So now you got some major friction. Sometimes love turns to hate. And then when those two people are occupying the same space, I think things like this happen. The love can turn to hate. You did this to me. You did that to me. Not over it. Oh, I could have did this with my life. And I didn't. I was with you. And this is what I get. When the love turns to hate, Ladies, because ladies are the main ones that'll be murdered. When the love turns to turns to hate, sweetheart, young and old, that's when it's time to evacuate. Stick around with these dusties. Professional, non-professional, broke, got a little money. Stick around. You might find yourself in the ground. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Let me know what you all think. But yeah, when the love turns to hate might be a good idea to evacuate simply said on youtube and i'm out